What's up, whiskey friend? So Artbag just came up with a whiskey at two ninety nine. Is it worth it? Before you do anything, you know the deal. Make sure you push the subscribe button. Make sure you like, share the post with your friend so they can follow me. And if you like my merch, look at my hat. Make sure you check out my website right here. So if you're a friend of Artbag or part of the committee, you know each year Artbag try to bring out new whiskey all the time. So this year, the first whiskey that came this year is the new Artbag Fermentation. There we have it, Artbag Fermentation. This whiskey was a committee release only, right? Um, this whiskey just came out literally a month ago. Now, according to, to the story, according to things we need to know, this whiskey was a very happy accident. But is he worth $299? I saw it today at $599. So according to the story, in 2007, one of the fermenters of Artbag went down. And normally fermentation is about 40, 40 hours, but this one actually lasted almost about four days. And Dr. Bill, if I'm sure, the, the master distiller of Artbag said, you know what, let's chalk this one up to experimentation. So one of the greatest things that happened is now a whiskey was made that did not conform to all the rules that we know about the whiskey that needs to be made but now was put in a barrel. What happened 13 years later? 13 years later, this art bag fermentation come, which is more of a happy accident. Um, they call it the invasion of the washbacks. And this one, unlike most Thank art bag where you have the regular release and the committee release, this one is a committee release only 13 year, 49.4% ABV. We all know how art bag juice is. We all look for it. If you're an Artbegian, if you're a part of the committee, you always look for it. But I was very shocked by the price of this bottle. Till, till I had it. Now, we're gonna do a quick taste of this Artbeg so I can give you some taste note and make you decide if you believe it is worth it or not. And there we go. This right here, very simple, right? Look at the color on it, very light color. Very, very light in color, which after 13 years, I mean, is expected. You don't expect it's ex-bourbon cask. So we don't expect a lot out of the color. Light gold, very, very light gold. Beautiful sun color gold letter. I'm using my own glass. Look at that, the truth is barrel proof. Make sure you actually cup the merch if you actually want them on my glasses. Oh, beautiful nose, beautiful art bag nose. That's what I, I, I can explain. The peat is, is underneath, it's never on top, it's under. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, nose. Nose transforming directly to, to the tropics. It's fruity, it's creamy, like, very a little off profile from art bag but the pd note kind of bring you back to our bag right away again fermentation Ooh, 49 49.4 percent abv beautiful legs on it all right let's give it a taste Mm. Subtle peak, but creamy, very creamy. It remind me of a creamy um, tropical fruit medley, but not uh, uh, pineapples, pineapples, banana, peach, and some stone fruit. Like having going to the Jamaica and being on an island and getting that, that tropical fruit, but have some cream right on top of it. Let's give it another. Mm. Hmm. Now I have to admit, 
there's no bite production and the complexity really is is in how it's coating your mouth it's not really even in the depth of, of the whiskey you get a little bit of that cinnamon at the end a little bit of those uh, baking spice at the end but it warms your heart there's something about this which just was warm you up feel like it's over 50 percent abv but it's 49.6 49.4 percent abv do i love it i do for a comedy release this for the sheer fact that this is so off profile for art bag i definitely would say it's a must try now here's one of the things i say usually right you see that red that red dot there that means you belong to somebody you belong somewhere that's literally how i describe it you belong to the committee i would tell you go to your local bar go to your local place and see if they have this whiskey and tell me if you actually try it and what do you think the creaminess on this whiskey the nose that take you is almost like we went from isla to be moved directly to J jamaican or puerto rico just having those island fruit medley with some peat underneath and a little bit of cream on top i would tell you what for being that price i'm gonna milk this bottle as long as i can but being an art begging is weird not to have a bottle when it comes out it's weird not to have a release when it come out the price on this one is much much higher will i compare it to you know if i have to take an ugadol or we bisti you know or you know even uh dark cove you know well i spend you know i spend i spend almost 250 on a dark cove so i think this is definitely is one that is worth trying before you buy it because if you're looking for those strong art bag punches no this really is a mellow drink it's an embracing drink it takes you and hugs you Shlancha. hope you enjoyed this episode let me know if you've tried this art bag I would love to hear your thought on it. And is it worth the $2.99? In my opinion, I think it's worth it. Definitely to actually have, definitely to actually have one of the best, greatest mistake that our bag ever made. Thank you for joining. Make sure you like the the, the the like, subscribe, and give me your opinion on what you'd like to see more. Again, you can pick up any of my merch down on my website. We'll see you next time.